Happy to give you like a short summary of my career. Um, I started working as a classic marketing at L'Oreal. Uh, that was uh, almost, I would say, almost eight or ten years ago. Uh, I was a product manager back then. Um, amazing experience. And then I moved on to Bacardi, um, working for uh, first for the vodka brands, uh, Grey Goose, Aristoff. I remember uh, uh, those days. Uh, amazing. And um, uh, there I was a brand manager, uh, did a lot of projects as well on a European level. Uh, and after a couple of years, I moved to Uber, where I worked uh, in the Brussels office and I worked in Singapore for the uh, APAC market. Uh, and a bit less than a year ago, I started working uh, at Skipper. Yeah, I'd love to, to share uh, some key learnings. And, and I would say like the my major learning or at least the, the major uh, thing that actually pushed me forward over all these years has been to always favor a move or always favor a job or favor kind of like a, an action that was always outside of my comfort zone. Um, uh, I'm, a, I'm a person who loves to learn. I, I always think that the day that I would stop learning, I would actually not work anymore because that would then mean that I just bored with what happened. So always keep learning. Uh, I, I, I learned a lot during my first year at L'Oreal. Then I moved to a completely different market and environment with a different team. It was again, I had to learn a new industry. I had to uh, to learn doing marketing a very different way uh, at Bacardi. And then the, the, the biggest breakthrough for me was actually when, when, when I arrived at Uber. Uh, uh, Uber was a complete opposite of, uh, of, uh, of FMCG where uh, we had like big budgets, marketing budgets, doing a lot of awareness. I was going into an industry where zero budgets, where um, uh, I had to find ways to be able to grow and, and, and to, 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 uh, to increase uh, uh, our, our brand in a city that actually didn't know anything about Uber. Uh, my boss didn't know anything about marketing back then in the day, so it was completely outside of my comfort zone. And uh, obviously, I had to keep learning. I had to keep uh, moving myself towards kind of like new horizons, uh, uh, new techniques, uh, new uh, new ways of doing marketing, which then I believe made me a greater marketeer, uh, which I am today. So uh, Skipper is a mobile application uh, that actually allows you to plan, book, but also pay for all your favorite providers uh, into one ecosystem. So what does it mean? Uh, from trains to buses to uh, calling an, uh, an Uber to uh, taking a, a shared poppy car or an e-step or, or a jump bike, you could all actually plan and book all of those right into one application, which for us is kind of like a great way to, to, uh, to favor a sustainable mobility, uh, but also with more transparency to, um, to people living in, uh, in, uh, in Brussels, Antwerp, but then all over, uh, all over Belgium. And, and to answer your second question on like how we do marketing, um, well, it probably is, 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 is also from the major learnings I had from Uber is, is kind of like moving away from what we call awareness, going to a more kind of like uh, growth marketing, uh, measuring everything. Um, and, and the way that we do uh, marketing at, at Skipper is we basically divide our marketing purposes in two, uh, two levels. The one will going to be acquisition, the other one is going to be retention, right? Um, 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 I always say that, um, uh, I'm not saying we already have a great product, I do believe we have a great product, but I think we are, our learning curve is still great and we still need to evolve. But um, your best product, or at least like a good product, doesn't actually need advertising. Uh, worth of more, we do the rest. However, we can definitely kind of like impact and push to make sure that um, the people have a great experience within our app and then trying to get more people on board, right? And so the first one is going to be retention, um, uh, making sure that the experience people will have into our application is going to be a great experience. It's going to be actually the experience they want to have. So how can we help solve their problem, right? Um, and through the learnings that we'll have of our current customers, we'll be able to understand actually what drives people to come to our app, which will actually help us trigger uh, bringing more people towards um, uh, towards uh, towards using Skipper. Uh, that's that's kind of like the way that we think um, uh, at Skipper.